What's good, YouTube? It's Louis Gusto. Welcome back to my channel. Today, we're in the Hyde Park neighborhood of Chicago, famously known for the University of Chicago, Roby House, and the Museum of Science and Industry. We're doing a full food tour of the neighborhood, so grab those fork and knife, and let's get ready to go on a food tour of Hyde Park, Chicago. Hyde Park began as a suburb of Chicago all the way back in 1853. Today, it's known for its world-class cultural and educational institutions, but what about the food scene? We spent a three-day weekend in the area so we could support as many local restaurants as possible, and in this food tour, we're making seven stops. Is Hyde Park worth visiting just for the food and drink? Keep it locked to find out. On this food tour, we had to make a stop at Mori's Deli. It's an old school Jewish NYC style deli right here in the heart of Hyde Park, Chicago. We got a couple of traditional sandwiches. They're making me so hungry, I can barely get through this. This is a club sandwich. You got bacon, Swiss cheese, NYC pastrami, corned beef, all on rye bread. This bread is so soft and look at that meat. It looks amazing. That brings potato salad plus a pickle. Come on, it's not gonna be a NYC Jewish deli without a pickle. Nerissa got roast beef on a french roll and of course we had to get the chicago potato chip vintners salt and sour nice big bag this place has been around since 1960 it's in a gorgeous building right now they're still doing only takeout even though indoor dining is allowed in chicago but since it's carry out only we brought it right back here to our hotel room triple decker sky high club sandwich with new york pastrami and corned beef Mm. So you got two meats in here with very strong flavors, the pastrami and the corned beef. And you'd think that maybe the flavors would fight each other, but they work in perfect harmony. The Swiss cheese, really nice. And that bread is really soft. This is good fresh bread, which is essential for a deli sandwich. Really, really good. I am loving this sandwich. I think this was an excellent choice. For these sandwiches, you can choose from so many different kinds of meats. Holy cow. Corned beef, pastrami, roast beef, turkey pastrami, turkey, ham, bologna, soft salami. The roast beef has a really mild flavor and it pairs really well with the veggies that we've got in here. So I just got simple things, lettuce, tomato, some mayo. What I really love about these sandwiches is that the bread is super fresh and the meat is sliced paper thin. Gotta try the salt and sour Vintner's potato chips. Lewis got me the big bag. Obviously he knows what I like. Mmm, sour. <laughs> if you're looking for a traditional Jewish deli here in Chicago, Maury's Deli is one of the perfect places that you can go. This is our first time coming here and it's definitely not gonna be our last. It's Friday night and the first dinner stop on our Hyde Park food tour is here at Virtue. It's right on 53rd and Harper Avenue. Virtue is a modern upscale Southern kitchen. It is a Michelin plate recommended restaurant. We've heard some good things about this restaurant. It looks really nice, good ambiance and everything. Friday night, let's go get some dinner. We're here celebrating Chicago restaurant week. So we got the price fix menu. We got a lot of different options coming to us like shrimp and grits, kale, broccoli. Lewis and I are lucky that there are two of us and we love to eat all kinds of food. So this time we decided to get one of each of the choices for the whole menu all the way down for the restaurant week options. So we got a broccoli salad and a kale salad. The broccoli salad has some hot peppers, some cheddar cheese, some candy pecans, and the kale salad has some cheese as well. I'm not sure what kind, almonds, and also some blood oranges. And it's also marinated in some orange juice. Both of these salads are really hearty. They have a lot of different flavors going on. And I, I would say I really like them both. The broccoli is kind of a little bit of spicy with these hot peppers, but you get nice big chunks of cheddar cheese. And in the kale one, you got like some nicely juicy, kind of crispy kale with a shredded cheese and then the crunchy almonds in there. So they both have a lot of great textures to them. Really great ways to start off the menu for restaurant week. Then for our drink, we got the ones called Patience is a Virtue. It's a vodka drink with rhubarb bitters. So we got the restaurant week entree and since there are two of us, we were able to get both. We got the jambalaya and the shrimp and grits. Shrimp and grits, really classic southern dish. I used to order this all the time when I lived in Gainesville, Florida. The shrimp, nice and plump, flavorful, and the grits, perfectly done. The jambalaya, good flavor, good rice. The meat was excellent. Everything paired well together, and we're kind of just sharing the plates, so that's always nice. This drink, by the way, Patience is a Virtue. Very nice, the rhubarb bitters, the vodka, everything good. So far, everything is lovely for our experience here at Virtue Restaurant. Dessert is here, and we've got a beautiful carrot cake and a lovely slice of pecan pie. So, let's try it. <laughs> mm 
I haven't had a whole lot of pecan pie throughout my life, but this looks really good and everything else has been delicious so far. Mm. That's a little nutty, a little sweet, crunchy, obviously, a good, dense, good piece of pie. Now carrot cake, I've had all my life. My dad used to bake a really mean carrot cake. So I see coconut flakes at the top, which is new to me, but you see that icing and that two layers of cake there. Mm. What a great way to end a perfect meal here at Virtue Restaurant. Celebrating Chicago Restaurant Week, we got the carrot cake and the pecan pie. Both of them are really good. I'm definitely gonna prefer the carrot cake. That's what I would order again. The cream cheese frosting is so good. The cake itself is moist, very light and fluffy. And the coconut flakes on top give a nice crunch to it. Even with the two of us, I don't think we're gonna be able to finish these desserts. It's just. You got a lot of food and hey, that's good. You get a lot for what you pay for here. It's a nice low key ambiance, perfect for a date night. Good music playing, nice bar, friendly staff. So far, I'm having a great time here and uh, it's another stop on our Hyde Park food tour. Good morning from Hyde Park. It's day two of our three day weekend here in the neighborhood. We're continuing our food tour with a morning run to Sip and Savor. It's a local coffee shop established in 2005. They have three locations in the city. Obviously this is the Hyde Park one right at 53rd and Hyde Park Boulevard. I got myself a red eye which is a shot of espresso inside dark roast coffee. Larissa got a chai latte and we also got a blueberry muffin from a local bakery called JR's Dessert Bakery. So it's a nice blueberry muffin. Really nice way to start the morning. We're gonna be exploring the neighborhood today. This is our first full day where we can just go around. It's gonna be sunny, beautiful day here in the city. Hey, I gotta enjoy my coffee, so I'll talk to you later. For lunch, we came to the Plain Air Cafe. It's right next to the Roby House, right here on the beautiful University of Chicago campus. I got me a prosciutto baguette, and Narissa got a croissant sandwich, but they were out of croissant, so she had to get a baguette as well. This is a French-inspired cafe and eatery. Plain air, meaning in the open air, from a French term. These sandwiches look pretty good. I'll show you what I got. This is a prosciutto baguette. Mm. We came to Asione Bistro. It's a modern Italian restaurant with a beautiful ambiance. Lots of people enjoying their meal, good music, good wines. We got some house-made pasta. For appetizer, we had some steamed rope mussels and they also brought out some great bread and extra virgin olive oil with roasted jalapenos in there. We really enjoyed those mussels and a nice tomato sauce and the bread is incredible. High quality olive oil, and I know my olive oil, trust me. For our main entrees, Nermissa got the linguine with the seafood and shellfish. It's a beautiful dish. You got mussels, you got shrimp. It's in like a tomato sauce, and I got me the paceri alla amatriciana. It's a nice house-made pasta with some red onion and basil-infused tomato sauce. Some pecorino cheese, which pecorino is one of my favorite cheeses. So this all looks incredible. The service has been fantastic so far. This is Chicago Restaurant Week, but we decided to order off the menu because, you know, you know, why wouldn't you? This place is highly recommended. We're about to dig in for the main course. We were so excited to find out that Teyama Boba Bar has a Hyde Park location because you know we love this place. This is located near the intersection of 55th and University Avenue. I got the Teyama O2, which is a rose and vanilla flavored lemonade with sparkling water and I think there's some crystal boba at the bottom. Then Lewis got himself a passion fruit oolong tea with some boba also. This is gonna be a really nice midday pick-me-up because we walked all over the University of Chicago campus today. Another stop on our Hyde Park food tour is Nella Pizza e Pasta. It's a locally owned Italian restaurant right here on 55th Street. So far we've had a fried crab cake, marinated anchovies, menambrea, which is a Italian beer, right on draft. And we just got our pizza. This is the Nella DOP. This is buffalo mozzarella. Basil, tomato sauce, classic Neapolitan pizza. Everything so far has been incredible, including the free bread that comes with olive oil and Parmesan cheese. Mmm, it's a real sweet tomato sauce. Really great crust. A lot of basil, 
You see that the brown spots on the mozzarella? That means it's uh, done well. And you also have the char spots on the bottom of the crust. That's a great Neapolitan pizza. This is legit a dope spot, and hey, you're gonna see it right here on Go Lewis Gusto channel because we bring you the very best in Chicago travel and lifestyle.